Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. I'm El Duderino, king of the slackers, and today we are making picanha. But before we do that, we're just hanging out here in the slackers lounge, having a, well, you, you know what I'm having. I'm making whew, a strong drink. poor man's picanha, right? The reason why I'm making poor man's picanha is because, well, El Duderino is a poor man, and I can't even afford good vodka sometimes. I have to go with the cheap stuff, Stryka, you know, all that good stuff. Anyhow, this is super easy to make, and it is absolutely delicious. So let's start on it. If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing and ringing that bell for notifications. Like I said, I'm El Duderino. Welcome to the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. It is nice to meet you. First thing we want to do with our picanha, let's just get this out and take a look at it. Actually, it's our petite sirloin, because really you want to use the sirloin cap, but unfortunately, I don't have access to any of that right now. That's why it's poor man's. I'm just going to leave those like that. But these I'm going to cut in half, these bigger chunks, so I can just kind of do them like that, right? I'm going to take some olive oil, just kind of pour it over each one. Hopefully not too much, but that's okay. You can always go like this. Get that olive oil in there really good. Take our salt. Now I'm just using coarse kosher salt. So just give a good, good coating of it. Flip these over and do it again. I do like picanha. And this poor man's picanha, I've done it before and it's actually pretty darn good. All right, now it is time we put these onto the skewer. Now you recognize this. This is just for like um, rotisserie chicken. It also works really good for what we're gonna do. So let's just take one of our bigger pieces, slide it over. start stacking them. Now we probably could have gotten away with not cutting these in half, but that's all right. I still had fun doing it. It's actually looking pretty good right there, right? Smash that down in there. So you now this is going to help it hold it into place. Check it out. That's cool. Slide that over like that. And there we go. See? It's going to be just like that. I'm going to add a little more salt while we've got the sides exposed. I think for me, the combination of the fat and salt just make it with picanha. Perfect. I'm going to start the charcoal in the Weber kettle and then we're going to put this on. All right, well, the Weber kettle is sitting at about 600 degrees, so I think it's time to start the rotisserie. And you know how this works. This thing is just going to sit over those charcoals until it's done. We're going to check them out here in about an hour or so, but yeah. Just look at that beautiful picanha. Just spinning in circles, spinning wheel. Now 
Welcome back to the Slackers Lounge. Just kind of a halftime update. Our Picanha is sitting at about 122 and it's been an hour, but I noticed that the charcoal was, there wasn't, it was dying, right? So I added more charcoal to it. And, and as you saw in that video clip, the smoke that was rolling off that is crazy, but that's just the way it goes, right? So I have to wonder, are we gonna get some of that charcoal smoke flavor on our picanha meat. We'll find out at the very end. See you in a bit. Cheers. We are into this cook an hour and a half. The meat is sitting at about 145 inside and outside is about 155. So I'm gonna pull this out and we're gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes. It's Zoe Cam. Is it Zoe Cam? Oh, it's Zoe Cam. Zoe. Zoe. All right, let's try this. Look at that. Slices just like real picanha. I mean, seriously, you could be at one of those Brazilian steakhouses and get this. Oh, hell yeah. I'm surprised Craig from Behind the Garage Barbecue hasn't done something like this. He might have. I'd like to pride myself in watching every one of his videos. But check that out. Mmm. Oh my God. That is absolutely amazing. You get a little bit of redness in the middle. So. I pulled this off at 145 in the middle. So you know that the tips are going to be a little bit warmer. Probably around 155. But when I eat this, I'm serious. You really get that salt. And just the meat, right? If you're into the meat sweats, this is the way to go. Mm. The only time I've ever had the meat sweats is with picanha. Absolutely amazing. You saw how we made it. It is so simple to make. It is simply salt. We took some olive oil, put it over our petite sirloin, and salted it. Mm. Ain't nothing better than that. I'll put the recipe down below, but do you guys really need the recipe? I don't think so. Let's try it with a white Russian. As you know, we were in the Slacker's Lounge earlier. All right, let's try a piece with a beer. I don't know. They're both good. Damn. All right, I'm going to go feed Mrs. Dude now, but this is how we made poor man's picanha. It is the bomb. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell for notifications. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, believe it or not. I really appreciate you guys watching. You know I have a vlog every Friday where we talk about current events and what's happening next week. I really, really, really enjoy doing just the weekly vlog. I think it's a great way to connect with people. So I appreciate it. You guys watching my vlog, I appreciate you watching my video. I gotta have another bite. Mrs. Dude's gonna love them. That salt just blasts right through. Mm -hmm. Salt and meat, nothing better. Special thanks to Patty Style Productions. Patrick does a great job. All right, we'll talk to you later. Remember, the dude abides, this time with a poor man's picanha. We'll talk to you next week. Peace, friends.